What's up guys? I am back to do my Wednesday Q&A that I promised you guys. I know it's supposed to be at 12. Um, I have an excuse every Wednesday, but at least today's excuse has to do with me at least living my best life and being happy. Um, I actually forgot that today was Wednesday, so that's why this live is a tad bit late, my God. And so um, I just wanted to keep my word to the church and do this Q&A on this Wednesday. Also, I am going to LA tomorrow, Los Angeles. Um, I have never been, and you guys have been begging for me to do vlogs again. So I'm going to vlog my vacation to LA and back. I'm not sure if I'm going to do a vlog each day because I'm going to be in LA from Thursday, which is tomorrow, up until Monday that I come back to Atlanta. So I'm not sure if I'm going to vlog each day and then post it or if I'm going to do a vlog for the entire trip, one vlog, and then post that. So I need you guys, my church, my God, to let me know what would you guys prefer. The only thing with vlogging and posting each day is if every day is not eventful or uh, extremely entertaining, then I feel like to post a vlog is almost pointless unless you guys just want to hear me talk and talk about what's going on in my head throughout the day. But I will... Look in the comments and see what you guys decide in reference to should I vlog my entire trip before one video to LA or should I do a daily vlog each day? But I do want to recognize and acknowledge the church members who are coming in to the sanctuary, my God, on this Wednesday Bible study, my God, midday Bible study. And so I see all of our little church members. Purple Rose said, hey, hi, Purple Rose. Queen Chelsea said, Bishop, hey, hey, and she sent me hearts. I love you too. My home girl, makeup, beauty forever. Hi, love. Always seeing your comments. Sexy Jada Nicole said, hello, King Ty. Yes, I have a series of crowns that I purchased from an amazing company. So I am wearing their crowns since I am, in a sense, reclaiming my throne. And I titled this video as well as my most recent Instagram post reclaiming my throne because it's more so of me reclaiming myself and me getting back to focusing on me and remembering that opposed to making others kings, I have always been a king in my own right. Um, I have been a man of integrity. I have had my own businesses. I have uplifted others. I have given others opportunities. I've tried to live the most honest and respectful and peaceful life possible. So I had to get back to me and remembering that I am also a king um, in my own right, my God. So I appreciate the love. I also see Hershey Kisses said, hey, Bishop. Hi, Chris H said, loving my crown. Thank you so much. Like I said, I have a series of crowns that I'm going to wear here and there. Not always. So I'm not going to overdo it, my God. But I did. I saw um, an advertisement for these leather crowns. And I was like, oh, my gosh, that's so cool. I was going to wait and use it for a photo shoot. But I'm not sure when I'm going to do my next photo shoot as of yet. I, am, I do have some lined up, but I don't have confirmed dates. So I figure I will start wearing these crowns in my videos since I wear hats all the time as well, especially when my hair is not done because, because I typically go to the barber on Wednesday mornings, but today I'm going this evening so I will have a fresh haircut for LA. Queen Shelsea said thumbs up church. Let's talk classic hip hop. Say yes, reclaim your crown. I'm reclaiming my crown, reclaiming the throne, my God. I'm reclaiming everything that God intended specifically for me and just for me. So that's the space that I'm in right now. And I'm in such a great space. And I thank you guys for continuously supporting me. And I feel like the church has a big hand or has had a big hand in helping me get to this space and remembering who I am because so many of you commented on new videos and saying, don't forget about yourself. We're here for you. And I appreciate all the love that I have received from the recap that I did by myself for the first time. I haven't done that, I think, since back in December of doing a recap alone. And I just appreciated all of the outpouring of love 
from the church. Purple Rose said vlog every day in LA Bishop. Okay, Purple Rose, I'm going to try. I'm going to start tomorrow morning heading to the airport. I'm going to vlog all day tomorrow and see what kind of footage I can get. If it seems interesting and <laughs> entertaining enough, I will post it tomorrow night as when I close out my vlog for Thursday. So I do think it's a good idea to vlog each day. That way, when it comes to editing, I won't be overwhelmed when I get back to Atlanta on Monday. But um, yeah, I'll try my best to do the vlog and post it each day. So that is a really great idea. So I'm going to probably go along with that. Anna Sierra, whom I love, she has been supporting me since I started doing RuPaul's Drag Race recaps, my God. She said, proud of your recap. I want you to review Insatiable. It's so good. I have not heard of Insatiable. Um, I will look on my DVR, well, on the TV guide, on, you know, on your, on your TV, on my TV, and see what it's about. I do love Insecure. I really, really, really wanted to do recaps on Insecure. But because of the changes in my life, I kind of got off track. And then Insecure started two weeks ago. And then I'm just all over the place in reference to deciding what I want to do with recaps and what shows I'm going to jump on board. Because the shows that we pretty much did already and just stopped abruptly, I don't feel like going back into them because we're behind so much. But that's why I've continued to stick with at least G status ATL hustle so I can kind of get my feet wet, get used to being by myself. And speaking of G status ATL hustle, a lot of you, the church members who follow me on Facebook, um, Instagram, and Twitter are aware that I actually did an interview, solo interview for the first time, my very first interview alone with a cast member by the name of Milan Jada from G status ATL hustle, and it went amazingly i can't wait for you guys to see it but you guys saw that i posted it on instagram facebook and twitter the 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 thumbnail photo but the video will be up i usually like to post it on sundays because i fill in the time slot for when g status atl hustle is not airing but i'm so anxious to post it i may post it on friday i may post it on saturday but it's probably going to be an early post because the interview was amazing i was so proud of myself and that interview with Milan allowed me to realize that at some point I had stopped believing in myself and that interview kind of just validated who I am for myself and all that I can achieve even by myself, my God. I see this is my love bug. We have to meet. We have to go out to dinner. Really, bitch. She said, excited to see the vlog of L.A., I appreciate you so much, really, bitch, because you go above and beyond to support me, to encourage me. You are a blessing that I have never even met because not only do you comment on, on every live and then on videos, you go to my DMs and inbox and you hunt me down. Not because of trying to get in with Ty or get something from Ty, but you hunt me down to uplift me and encourage me. And I appreciate you so much, really, bitch. I really, really do. I also see my love bug, 7 Bambi 19. I believe your real name is Jason. Let me know if I'm right, 7 Bambi 19. Said, damn, Ty, I love when you're naked. Now, 7 Bambi 19, we are trying to transition from the overly sexual uh, conversations on Ty Couture TV, my God. But I, y'all know I love... I love showing my body. I love being naked and free. But um, I appreciate the love, but I do want to let the church know that we are shifting into a different space, my God. I'm not saying that I won't say dick or coochie or pussy at some point um, or ask an intrusive question to a guest, but it's not going to be all about sex. Like, yeah, that was, yeah, that's not what it's going to be about anymore, my God. Um, and then we have uh, Kim Lopez said, hey, Ty, boo-boo. I see the Phoenix comment is saying, then put on a shirt to change the narrative. I can do whatever the hell I want on my channel and in my house. And if you don't want to see me naked or my body, my God, then don't watch. I am too happy for the negativity. You change your narrative, my God, and be positive. At the end of the day, it's a chest. We all have one. 
All right, I'm telling y'all, I'm not going to BS no more. I'm happy. I'm going to spread love and positivity, my God. And those who got something negative to say, then I will just go on ahead, my God, and find the block button. And that's what I did with the Phoenix. I also see New Dawn saying, hello, Ty. She sent me a heart. Finally caught the live today. I'm so glad you caught my live because... I have been delayed on the lives and not being on time. So at least you have been able or finally have caught a live, my God. Purple Rose said, you've been naked and free, but you never talked about a bunch of sex. That was never your vibe. Thank you, my God. Thank you. Thank you, Purple Rose. Thank you for having been here and knowing the real me. Yes, I show my body, but... The, but the content and what I share has never been overly sexual. So I thank you for being okay with me with me showing a little skin because the reality of it is, this is the summertime, my God. If your ass goes to the beach, you're going to see a chest anyway. So I don't think the big deal is showing no chest. Anna Sierra, you sent a donation. You are using Super Chat. And I have to remember to honor Super Chat. That is how when the church becomes flooded, my God, with all of the members rushing into the sanctuary, Super Chat allows me to zero in on a specific comment. So Anna Sierra commented saying, glad you are making the content shift. I couldn't really share the content like I wanted to because it was an overload. You have the personality to carry the content. Thank you so much for the love, Sierra. I did recognize that a, a while ago that sometimes the content was so, um, so sexual in nature that people who really love Ty Couture, who love the channel, who love me, weren't really able to share it to coworkers, share it to their mama, share it to their daddy. And I remember getting so much love from people saying, you know, I watch her channel, I show my mom. And then, or I remember even uh, comments of people saying, my daughter watches it, my daughter is six years old. And granted, some of, some of the content regardless is not for a six year old, but I do realize that overly sexual comments specifically is not for a young person. I don't want to limit my brand to just being about sex, my God, because as much as I enjoy sex, the reality of it is Shanice and my family said, I am not allowed to have a committed relationship until next year. I'm even in the space of almost wanting to practice celibacy because I, I, I don't know, I'm in a whole different space in my life. And I think that um, being overly sexual, um, talking about sex, a lot of times I was trying to do, tr trying to make my partners happy, I guess. I don't know. But for the first time in my life, I am okay with not really even having sex that much. And I, I guess I'll try celibacy for as long as I can, my God, because you know, I'm a human and I have some needs and I done had a man for the past 10, 11 years. So I'm going to take this celibacy thing day by day, my God. Deshaun fairly also commented saying, but you've never been all about sex, but more personality and personable. Thank you for acknowledging that. Thank you for seeing that in spite of the changes that we have had in the past in reference to sexual content. Uh, I don't know how to say your name. It's it, it, it's Sue. I'm gonna spell it. S U E Z Q dash H. Commented asking, "Are you still in contact with the ex first? No, I am no longer in contact. I have ceased all forms of contact." as well as blocked and so on and so forth. So no, I am no longer in contact, but I do wish him well in all of his endeavors, my God. Katrina said, I can't even speak properly. Katrina Goodlett said, yes, celibacy come through. I don't know where it came from, Katrina, but that's where I am right now. Um, that's the space that, I'm, that I am in. Nikita Hunter commented saying, I've been celibate for over two years now. It can be an awesome thing, but listen, I'm ready. <laughs> oh my gosh, Nikita, two years now. I, I'm not going to go two years, my God. I'm, like I said, I'm taking it day 
by day. And if I happen to slip up <laughs> and desire something or somebody, I'm going to go ahead and indulge. I'm not, I don't want to put out there that it's wrong to have sex and enjoy sex, especially uh, practicing safe sex, my God. But I also want to just try something new and begin to focus on me. And the reality of it is, since I'm focusing on me, since I'm focusing on me, with, with, with celibacy being on the table, I mean, I guess it's okay to please myself. So everything is about Ty doing stuff for Ty, even in the sexual department right now, my God. Tiffany Lavender comments it, and I lost your comment. I think, I think you said, oh my gosh, I don't want to lose it. Tiffany, re repost your comment because I can't find it. I lost it because so many comments are coming through, but I want to acknowledge you, Tiffany Lavender. Brandon Jenkins said, I've been celibate for six months. The struggle is real. Well, church, pray for your bishop because the amazing thing is as, as much sexual content that we had in our videos over the past eight months, it's amazing to find out that there are so many church members who are actually practicing celibacy. I feel like I want to change this video from reclaiming my throne to reclaiming my celibacy, my God. Because I had no clue that so many people um, are practicing celibacy. Dre Lenthicum, I hope I said that correctly, said, what did he block Corey or Mike? I don't know what your comment is. If you retype it and post it, I'll address it. But I'm not sure what you're asking in reference to blocking Corey or Mike. Oh, you said, wait, did he block Corey or Mike? Um, I blocked Mike. Corey is not blocked. Okoye forever, whom I love. Okoye forever commented saying, okay, so I have a question. I hope I'm not crossing the line, but do you still have your fleshlight? Yes, Okoye, my God. You are not crossing the line. You just dropped something in my spirit because I have my fleshlight. I bought me some extra ones, my God. I got some new ones. They have a clear one where you can actually see yourself in it. And yes, I have stocked up on the flashlights. Flashlight has gotten some more of my coins. So yes, I still have it. And I am, I, the funny thing is, I haven't overly put it to use, which also lets me know that I really am in a space of celibacy because um, when it comes to pleasing myself, it's not like I'm, uh, I'm not replacing a person with my flashlights. I probably only used my flashlight recently, maybe once or twice. And that, yeah, that's not a lot in my opinion, my God. Jamaican Black Scorpion said, I am single for six years, but I'm not celibate. I don't get horny or anything, but I do have sex occasionally. Well, come on for you having been single for six years. Thank you for giving me some hope because, well, I guess that's not hope. Well, I guess it is hope. It's hope because you're single and content. That's what I wanted to address. I would love to, oh my gosh, that's the thing, guys, about me that I think you guys know, but I want a family so badly. I want a big, huge wedding filled with love and friends and support. I want children. I want a house with a picket, well, I don't think I want a picket fix. I think I, I think I want a wrought iron fence, my God. But I just want a house. I want family, like family is really the center of my heart. And that's why I think uh, with my relationships, they move so quickly or I put so much on the other person in reference to not putting so much on them as far as weight on them, putting much on them, putting so much on them is in reference to like building them up and putting them, putting them before me, my God, because I really, really do. I really want a family, y'all. I do, I do, I do. But hopefully it's in the cards for me. And if it's not in the cards for me, I will, I'm learning and loving myself enough to be okay if that's just not, if that's just not for me, regardless of what my desire is. Queen Chelsea commented saying, what about the reality show, Bishop? Is it still a go? Queen Chelsea, okay. The reality show is not a go. It was never my idea. The reality show was also presented to you guys prematurely uh, because I feel like if I was going to do a reality show, 
I would, I would have things in place. One thing I don't do is get people excited about stuff that I have not planned for. So the reality show is really a no-go because I, we don't have, I don't have multiple cameras. I don't have the staff yet for it. I don't have the production team for it. Um, so the reality show is not my idea. Now, what I will say is I did always have the desire, even before having watched Chasing Atlanta, I had the desire as way back as... Uh, Cynthia's wedding and Nene's wedding and Candy's wedding to um to do my 10 year anniversary vow renewal with Corey. I wanted to do a, a wedding like show type of six episode series on YouTube. So it was always in my heart to have that kind of a reality show where it was my wedding and all that. But um, that went down the drain when I decided to divorce Corey. So. Uh, yeah, there is no reality show. People have contacted me and encouraged me to still try to do something like that. But I feel like with me being a perfectionist, I really need a team of people who I can really depend on and be able to say, okay, I trust you guys to create content that is to my caliber because I cannot film a reality show all by myself. And it's not really my thing, but I am open to the idea. It's funny because I actually joked with Charlie Exile yesterday and was like, guess what? I'm going to be on G Status ATL Hustle next season. And it was a joke. I mean, I'm not sure if I would consider the, the, the thought of it or idea of it because I, I'm not about fighting and I'm not going to be on a show fighting with anybody. And if someone puts their hands on me, my God, I will be calling the police and pressing charges. So, so, so don't put your hands on me. Don't even try because I will not put my hands on you. So that's my concern with even being on a Chasing Atlanta or, or a G Set ATL Hustle. There is too much fighting for me, and that's not what I do. That's not what I'm about. I will call the police, my God. Aspiring Artist 101 said, I see you more of a producer on a show. I think so too. The problem with that is with being a producer. I don't want to be kind of, I, 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 people think I'm controlling, but I don't want to be controlling. I rather just step in and do it myself and be the producer and be on camera, my God, and do things the way I feel like it's supposed to be done. I never really want to control somebody else. So producer, yeah, I do see that for myself. But the problem with that is a lot of times, even with producing, people still kind of want to see me for some reason. I don't know what it is about me because I don't even see the, the entertainment in myself. <laughs> I don't even see the hilarity in myself, but people usually want to see me. So that's the difficult part with wanting to um, just be a producer, my God. Riri Foster commented saying, I always felt like you were more real than Mike. He just laid it on too thick. Amazing. This is amazing. That's amazing. I love my bishop because he gives the real my God. Um, I don't want to speak negatively about Michael at all, so I'm going to skip over that portion. But I do appreciate you, Riri Foster, for recognizing my real and my transparency. Every time I come on camera, even if it's you, even if it's you guys having seen me be a bitch or be annoyed or be upset, though, remember, I'm the editor. I'm the one who edits these videos. I could easily have cut out all of my bitchy moments. When, when I was bitching towards Corey or bitching towards Michael, I could have easily cut those out to make me look perfect and make, me, and make me look very, very innocent. But I chose to still show those and leave it in because I always want to present authenticity and realness. I am real to the core. Don't forget that. That's one thing that kind of bothered me when people would critique um, me being bitchy or upset or frustrated or tired. The reality of it is I want to bring you guys the real me. And sometimes the real me is not happy and or excited. Sometimes the real me is upset. Sometimes the real me is hurt. Sometimes the real me is a bitch. Sometimes the real me will curse someone out, my God. That's the real me. And I always thought that people appreciated realness and transparency and honesty. But I guess some people don't. But I do thank God for having a church that, you know, the majority of you, the majority of you appreciate my transparency and honesty, and that's why you guys are still here, even when you've seen me maybe act, you know, a little shady or unfair or or abrasive at times. You guys know my heart. So, Scorpion King eighty nine said, if you guys pay close attention, 
then you would have realized that every time X first G would mention sex or talk about it, just finished having sex, Bishop's face would be so disgusted sometimes. <laughs> I don't want to talk about Michael. Please stop. But you're right. Like, I was uncomfortable at times uh, with the sexual uh, content. Now, I'm not going to be fake and lie and say there weren't times when I did indulge in the conversation, especially when we did like the hose, the husband versus hose segment. I did have my place and I do own and take my responsibility for what I said sexually. But th there, the majority of times, Scorpion King 89, you were right. If you saw my reaction, um, it, it, it was uncomfortable. And I also kind of struggled with not wanting to expose my partner or be a break. That's why I said being on film is so hard because while trying to be free, open, and honest, when you have a partner involved, whether it's a relationship or just a friend or a buddy or a coworker, it is always hard to figure out what your position should be. Is my position be the real me? and get upset and clap back? Is my position be the real me and hold my feelings in and not really share what's bothering me? Is the real me to correct my partner that's saying something that's wrong? Or is it to let them go ahead and say what they wanna say? So it is so difficult to come on camera because while trying to remember what I should address and say to you guys, I always have to think about what I should and shouldn't do because what is right and wrong when someone looks at this video, my God. Makeup Beauty Forever said, I am here for the real tie. Thank you so much, Makeup Beauty Forever. Miriam, Miriam Standifer, Beijing, or I think it's Beijing, said, oh my gosh, it popped away. I lost it, I lost it, I lost it. Sorry, Miriam, thank you for your comment. Oh, I found it. She said, Thank you for sharing the real you. We love the real you. I appreciate you. Thank you for the love. Tiffany Lavender commented saying, you are really coming into your own, Ty. The whole journey you've been on and still on got you to this moment. So happy for you. Yes, Tiffany Lavender, you are 100% right. The reason why I'm so happy right now and not depressed and not suicidal is because I've just began to embrace that this is my journey. It's not going to all be perfect. And it's also, it's not going to all, it's not going to all be perfect. I want to enunciate. And um, it is to build a better me. So I, I, I just, at this point, I'm just like going with the wind. If things happen, they happen. If they don't, they don't. And I'm just in that space. Now, the perfectionist in me is still there. I'm going to try to do things, everything, decently and in order and as perfect as I possibly can. But I'm also trying to just embrace life and experience life and be happy in the moment and not focus on trying to plan so much of my future because I, I think I lost out on so much happiness and my, my, my 20s with focusing on trying to achieve goals that I thought I needed for my life and never really just living in the moment, being happy with what I have. Like I have been blessed with so much and I just have to thank God for all that he's done for me because there are so many people out there who don't have what I have and I am just so blessed that God shows me. Um, but I know that I'm a giver and that's why the, that's why I've been so blessed to even when I have been afraid to lose or to to not have enough. Um, I always know that because I'm a giver, things will always come to me. Think I will always be blessed for that very reason. Now, I see somebody did super chat. So I'm looking for that because I have to honor super chat. Main 35 commented. Well, donated $10 commented saying you will be OK. My God, I got you. Thank you so much, Maine. I tell you, it is the church. People wonder why I call it the church. This is why, because not only do I try to uplift you, you guys uplift me. This is why this is the church, because there are people who are hurting. There are people who are going through something who come to Tiger Tour TV to even if it's as small as making themselves feel better in that moment that they're watching my videos. This is what makes it a church. It's a hospital, my God, people who are going through 
And I also know that my journey can always help someone else. But I thank you, Main35, for having me and for having my back. Regina Davis said, this is why some celebrities and others in the public eye leave their relationships private. Well, Regina Davis, guess what, my God? That's going to be your, that's going to be your bishop, my God. I will not have a public relationship. Um, I won't say ever again, but the beginning stages will not be public. Uh, you guys will not know that I have a man officially until probably either he asked to marry me, and which would, which would be probably two, three, four, five years after dating, um, or you may not even find out until after marriage. I might make y'all wait until we have some kids. But, yeah, I don't want a public relationship anymore. But I think the public relationship for me was always because I never thought that I was enough. I felt like it had to be me and somebody else for people to like me, for people to love me, for people to, to want to see me. So I'm done with the, the public relationship um, situation. So that's, that's dead. It's never going to happen again. Jamaican Black Scorpion comments is saying, I am totally visiting you next year. Just need to get a, get the house sale out of the way, but would love, but would so love to sit and talk to you. Definitely, I would love that. You are a little church member, Jamaican Black Scorpion. Denise Crockett comments is saying, I hope you understand your worth. You are enough. I think the right person will embrace what you see as flaws. That is so true. That is why in my live where I addressed me having been single, I had to correct myself and said that I brought so much baggage because the reality of it is, some of those things I'm going to always struggle with no matter how great my life is. So I do have to find, or maybe I need to stop trying to find a man, my God, let a man find me. But so I, had, I need a man to find me that is okay with a partner who strives for, for perfection, who is okay with a partner who doesn't want food in the bedroom, who is okay with a partner who has to get up every morning and make sure that this bed is made, who is okay with a partner who wants to drink water out of a glass, not out of, out of a water bottle, my God, when you're in your home. I, I have to... I need a partner to seek me out who is okay with everything about me, even the smallest annoying things, and will say, you know what? That thing about Ty is annoying, but guess what? I love him because of those annoying things as well. So a person who can handle my depression, anxiety, and suicide ideation, which I do feel like the suicide ideation has already subsided, and it, it, it may come back, it may not, um, but I do know that I'm going to probably always struggle with um, anxiety, and, and depression because of how I process stuff. That's the amazing thing about negative comments. People see me share my stories about depression. And when people comment so harshly, they never realize that my depression stems from, one, insecurities from my marriage, but also because whenever there's a problem or something says something about me, I always check myself and try to figure out is that really me? Am I really doing something wrong? Am I a bad person? And then the depression sets in because there are some times when people comment or say things and they can be 100% off and I'm going on a wild goose chase trying to find something in me that's a problem that really is not a problem or that's not there. So then depression sets in because you're looking to fix something about you that you can't fix because somebody else put their issues in, within themselves off on me or off on you. And I'm saying you because I want to minister to somebody else who may be going through or feel the same way, my God. Oh, I see y'all saying, yes, Bishop, preach. I tell y'all, I don't do Sunday morning inspirational words, my God, but preaching is a calling that's on my life. My grandfather was a pastor before he became ill. My stepfather is a bishop. Um, my grandmother is a pastor. My, uh, my godmother, my spiritual mom, Pastor Valerie Cheney, is a pastor. Um, I have a lot of preachers in my family, my God. So the mantle definitely does rest upon me. But um, I just, I'm not connected to church anymore because I don't really agree with some of the doctrine. Um, yeah, so that's that. 
trying to trying to get some comments from people who I have never read comments from before. Aaliyah Smith said, Bishop, I'm a Philly girl and we're going to miss you so much up here. Atlanta, best be good to my bishop because I'm the head deaconess in charge of, lay, of the Lay on of Hands ministry. Love you, Bishop. Aaliyah, I appreciate you. The thing about it is, I am happy that I'm going to try out Atlanta. I'm going to finish out my lease here, which should be up in March. I'm going to try to finish it out. Well, I'm going to finish it out. I'm going to commit to that and see if I really want to stay here or not. But the good thing is I'm still going to come back and forth uh, from Atlanta to New Jersey, which I'm, I live in the, I'm from the New Jersey, Philly area. So I will still come back and forth. The blessing is that me closing the salon and helping Shanice open her salon allows for me to not have to carry the weight of purchasing products for uh, people doing payroll. Um, it allows me to be able to go to New Jersey, do my loyal clients who I've always had, and come back and just be able to travel and just enjoy my life as it is. So I still will be back and forth. So Aaliyah, you may see me in the Philadelphia airport. You may see me somewhere in Philadelphia because I still will be back and forth and just embracing this opportunity and the space that I'm in in my life. Only one info comments in whom I love said, New Dawn, at New Dawn is killing negativity with positivity. You go right ahead, hun. Yes, New Dawn does always speak positively. Scorpion King 89 said, is the love and light ministry still a part of the church? No, it is not. Love and, light, love and light was not my thing at all. It was something that I embraced and tried to kind of uplift and put on the platform to help you, your ex first G and I um, to embrace him and what he does and to not make things all about me. So it's so funny though because with people, with people calling me narcissistic or all about me, I think that people who have some intelligence would have caught on to the fact that if Bishop Ty was all about him, then why did he allow the former first G to have so many videos by himself, my God? So I just love the fact that people who actually pay attention and really um, love me and want to uh, bring positivity to this channel and are here for the right reasons actually do pay attention and see what's going on, even if I don't say a word, my God. Danielle Reed, you are a little church member, commented saying, I totally understand where you're coming from with the depression and, ex and anxiety. It's something I struggle with, but the creativity of being a stylist has helped me a lot. Danielle Reed, are you a hairstylist? Are you a fashion stylist? What are you? But that's amazing that you found something to help release and or control your anxiety, doing things like art or hair, things and things artistically always help your anxiety. I can re remember back when I was in the psychiatric hospital, when I attempted suicide, one of the things that they did to help, uh, which was a form of therapy was, there was music therapy, there was art therapy. So things with the arts do actually help cope or help one cope with depression and anxiety. Haley Mosley said, are we going to be able to watch old videos or is it a dumb question? Haley Mosley, I have deleted every single video with your ex, First G. And I said in a previous live because someone asked, why did I, leave, why did I delete those videos and not delete Corey's videos? Uh, and I did not delete Corey's videos because, again, regardless of what hurt I received, um, from Corey and how that relationship failed, regardless of what Corey did, regardless of where I felt he was wrong, Corey was still there for me for 10 years. Um, and I don't want to go, I don't want to, I don't want to rehash what Corey did. And there was some really, 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 really hurtful and bad things. But even in the midst of the bad, he was still there for 10 years for some good things and I don't, I do feel like because of the 10 years, Corey being a singer in his, in his platform is deserving of some publicity and residuals from my success for at least a little while longer. And I don't feel like your ex first G 
is deserving of receiving residuals and or popularity from my success any longer. So my thing is, you guys know, if, if you watch, you really know me. You know I'm about a coin, my God. And you also know the sleepless nights and the tired and, and how tired I was from traveling back and forth to do those videos for you guys, as well as having to edit those videos, especially the vlogs, which sometimes took me eight hours to edit. You know that if I actually deleted all of that, I truly needed a clean slate for some apparent reason because to put in all that work and to just press delete on at least 55 videos, my God, yeah, I needed, a, I needed, to, I needed to refresh my life as well as refresh this channel, my God. Wanda, Wanda Caesar said, will there be any chance that you and X first G getting back together? No chance. In this lifetime whatsoever, no, there will be no chance. None at all. Again, I wish him the best, but there will never, ever be a chance that I would reconcile or get back with your ex first G. Raphael Hart with another little church member comments is saying, Hi Ty, how are you? Hope all is well. I wish you nothing but the best, or nothing but success. I thank you. Things are going great. They're going phenomenally. Now, I will say that, of course, because I'm disappointed with deciding to uh, break up with, you know, the ex first G, of course, I have extremely happy moments. And sometimes there are some sad moments because it does come in waves. But it's not sadness to the level, to the level where depression sets in. And it's also not sadness as in me wanting to go back or wanting it to work. I think it's just sad. Be I, I have sad moments because, like I said already in this live, I wanted a family. I wanted children. I wanted a house. I wanted a partner. So that's where I get extremely happy like this. And then sometimes I get sad because of just thinking about I'm 33 and where I want my life to be right now. And I wish it could be about family and kids, but it's, that's just not where I am right now. And I'm okay with that. I saw somebody in the comments who comments I always love, who's always a ride or die for me. Alexandria S said, dang, what happened between you and Mike? You deleted the videos. I'm not going to share. I will say that he is a great guy for somebody. And that's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say, my God. I, I, I've already said this in this live already. I wish him well, wish him the best. Like I said, I will not discuss that. I addressed my issues with my marriage with Corey. And I overshared because I was so hurt. But with the ex first G, I'm not going to do that. Um, it is what it is. And I, like I said, regardless of what happened, it's still my fault because I moved on from my ex-husband too quickly. I didn't allow for myself to heal. So... I can't, like I said in my like I said in my I'm single video, it, it's all my fault. It's my fault. Tiffany Lavender commented again saying the sadness is normal. You shared a part of your life with with <laughs> and he came at a very vulnerable moment in your life. He was fine for the moment and now that moment is done. Yes. I see the word redacted, but I, I, I was trying to figure out what you meant, but I know what you mean now. The Joy of Leak said, you can find him. I did. I am suffer from GAD, panic attack, and compulsive disorders. And my husband handles all of that very well. Every day is a struggle. Wow. The Joy of Leak. You having all of those things and, and finding a husband and a man who handles all of that just gives me so much hope. I will say that I thought that being with a life coach or counselor would probably be, have been the best person for me with those issues, but it wasn't. And I'm just thankful that I read your comment because you do give me hope because I, I was thinking for a moment that with those issues, is anybody able to handle that? But you finding someone who is able to handle those difficult parts about you gives me so much inspiration. I thank you for writing that comment. I thank you for typing that. Toya Teller said, come on, you know the church is nosy. What did he do to you? <laughs> Toya, your bishop has become a new. The thing about my previous marriage and then the, my last relationship 
is that I felt like I had to get the truth out there to defend myself. And so now that I have so much peace and I'm so happy, I'm okay with people thinking that I was the blame. I am okay with people thinking that I was at fault. I am okay with the negative comments attacking me and blaming me. I have grown to a space and a place where I can handle it. And guess what? I know the truth and the other person involved knows the truth. And that's all I care about. I have no reason to have to defend myself to people who I don't know and or will never be in a relationship with. So that's the space I am in. I will probably never share what happened between me and my previous partner. Unless, like, there's a big movie deal on the table or a play and someone asked me to, like, you know, talk about my life than I would, but that's only for that. It's only for being able to help people and because of like a book deal, movie deal, or play, but not just to not just to expose somebody because I want my truth out there. I'm okay with my truth being, you know, what it is and I know the truth and people don't, and if people don't um, know the truth, that's on them. But the funny thing is, I think I found the peace in not having to expose the truth to the public because I exposed the truth in my marriage and people still didn't believe me. So my thing is, at this point, to, to, to expose someone and people still not believe the truth of what I, what I shared, what's the purpose? <laughs> There's no purpose in exposing someone if people aren't going to believe the truth that I'm sharing. Only one info said his fault as in going from Corey straight to Mike without finding himself. Exactly, my God. But I tell you, I, only one info, you are definitely a leader in this ministry. You are you are one of the elders because when I tell you speak on my behalf so much and you be spot on, my God, yes, you are 100% right. You are spot on as to why I said it's my fault. That's it. You caught it and you got it, my God. That's it. Oh, my God. This is why I'm saying the people who really love being right for me, I ain't got to expose nobody. They want to know what the truth is just because they are connected to me in the spirit and they love me. And they can see the transparency and the genuineness in me. So only one info props to you because that is exactly what I was saying. That is what was my fault. Uh, I'm trying to find some people that I have not mentioned before. I think Jennifer Spikes said, do you suggest couples getting counseling early on like you and Mike did? Yes, I definitely do. My counseling is probably one of the things, or our counseling is probably one of the things that helped me to be able to be in this space today. Because counseling early on helps you see who the person you're trying to be with really is. Because if the person is sharing a story or leaving stuff out or being a different way in front of your counselor than they are when it's just you two, that's why I feel like a counselor is so important. But you know what? The great thing is I really love my, my therapist and I, I really, really wanted her to be my personal therapist. And she is now. And that's a blessing because she was originally... Uh, the couple's counselor for your for my ex-partner and I, but she's my therapist now. And I had my first session with her alone on Monday and it was so amazing. Like, it was the best counseling session I've ever had with any therapist. Shout out to my therapist, Ray of Joy. You are phenomenal. Like, she is great. Like, I thank God for this journey, if this journey was only to help me find Ray of Joy, my God. I'm so thankful for her. Wanda Caesar, you're asking about all my exes, my God. Ask about me. It's about me now. It's all about me. Um, do you and Corey still communicate? No, we don't. I don't communicate with Corey at all. Um, I I'm not going to go into why. There's a reason. A lot of you out there already know the reason why. Um, but I'm not going to say it again. Like I said, I'm not into bashing my exes anymore. And I, the gag is, I hate the word bashing my exes because I, I don't feel like sharing my story is bashing someone else. It's not my fault that these people came into my life 
and did what they did. So I hate when people say, you're bashing that person, you're bashing that person. No, I'm telling my damn story. They are part of my story and I'm allowed to tell it, but I'm not even telling my story anymore. Like, I'm just done with that. So that's that, my God. Nequel, the artist, you're definitely a little church member, commented saying, we love you, Bishop Ty Couture. I love you guys so much. Uh, King Alchemist commented saying, is the underwear line still alive, Bishop? Yes, King Alchemist. As I said in a previous live, the underwear store was mine originally. I added my ex-partner onto it to, to, to not make things just all about me, to make my partner feel good as well and to uplift my partner. The original name for the underwear line was Thai Couture Fetish, and it was also found under my website, which was called Thai Couture Boutique. Right now, the Thai Couture Fetish website and or boutique um, website is not back up yet because I'm in the process of changing everything from Mike and Ty back to Thai Couture Fetish and Thai Couture Boutique. So the underwear will be available once again, and that's coming soon. Uh, I, I'm, just, I'm just trying to not overwhelm myself with doing so much. So normally, the perfectionist in me would have rushed and had that change like immediately. But the new me who was just going with the flow, trying to maintain my peaceful place is like, you know, the, the underwear line in the, in the store will be back up. I don't have a date yet, but it'll be, it, will be back, it will be back up and I'm not going to, 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 to put a lot on me to have to get it up immediately. It'll, it'll, it'll pop up and you guys are part of this church and you'll be the first to know when it's officially back up, but it will be back, my God. Only one info said he said the only communication is giving him few more shine on this platform where his music is concerned. So this is his last Christmas gift. <laughs> only one info, that's what I'm saying. Baby, you listen for me. She's commenting for me. Makeup Beauty Forever commented saying, when your new man comes along, you're going to be ready, boo. Self-work is so underrated, but much needed for growth. You better do that shit, Bishop. Yes, Makeup Beauty Forever. I'm definitely working on me. Uh, Johnny Cage commented to someone and it said, you can't cheat in an open relationship. Uh, Johnny Cage, that's a lie. You actually can't cheat in an open relationship because... I'm not going to go into that, but you can't cheat in an open relationship because just because a relationship is open, my God, does not mean that there are boundaries and or rules and regulations in place. I think that's the problem with people uh, thinking that open relationship means do whatever the hell you want. No, there are people who do have boundaries. There are some things that are too far for everybody, even in, open, even in an open relationship. So yes, you can cheat in an open relationship because my previous marriage was considered to have been open, but the cheating in that was if what I'm doing and the open relationship is known to my partner and the other person is secretly having an affair, that's cheating even in an open relationship. Open means honest transparency we know. Open does not mean that you got some secret shit going on, my God. So yes, you can cheat in a open relationship. Had to check that because that is so often wrong. But I'm back. I'm back, I'm good, I'm still happy, my God. Nicole, the artist said, yeah, you can. If I don't know about it, it is being unfaithful. The infidel exactly, Nicole, thank you, thank you. Something being secretive or hidden, even in an open relationship, is still cheating, it's wrong. Thank you, my God. That's why I love my church. I love my church because we are on one mind, one accord. Y'all get me, y'all really do. Kanithia Dempsey said, come on, family, let's speak positive vibes only. Let, let's let our bishop enjoy his happiness. Thank you, Kanithia. I'm trying to maintain my happiness regardless of the comments that are people are trying to be like addressed stuff that I don't really want to address. But yes, I am still maintaining my happiness. And I appreciate the, the messy comments because the reality of it is all you're doing is testing my happiness. And I'm still happy and still will continue this live, my God, as long as I can. Really, bitch, said I have friends that are swingers and there are rules. Exactly, really, bitch, exactly. There are rules. Thank you. 
Courtney Q said, so do you choose to be in an open relationship or do your partners? Okay, great question. Courtney Q. My marriage, that became open because my needs were not being met and I was being neglected. I did not necessarily want my marriage to be open, but my ex-husband was incapable of of, of giving me things that I needed. So I so the marriage became open because I began to look for what I really wanted from him from somebody else. So that's why I became open. But it is my desire to be in a monogamous relationship. And so that segues into the most recent relationship that I had. Um, the, my partner, the ex first G, it was more so his thing for it to be open because the reality of it is... Um, for a good portion of that relationship and the eight month time frame, I wasn't the one indulging in open activities. And if you guys remember from some of the recaps or things that was said, I was the one always addressing and mentioning my body count being low because I really was not indulging in openness for the beginning, at least. And I didn't do anything open in with this relationship in January or February, I think I started doing open stuff in like March. And that was more so like, when in Rome, do as the Romans do, because that was what was going on. But um, I do know that I want my next relationship to be monogamous. Um, if I, I'm, not, I'm not against people who want to be in an open relationship, but I, I, I want to be in a, in a monogamous relationship. I want to have a partner that um, is everything that I need to so where I won't have to consider an open relationship. And I also want to be everything that my partner needs to where they don't want to be in an open relationship neither. So it is my heart's desire to be in an open relationship, my God. The only Tashi here said, have you ever considered polygamy? No, your ex first G kind of brought, the, brought the idea to me, but um, I... I I kind of, I kind of was considering it for the sake of the relationship, so it wouldn't fail or die. But that I never considered it on my own as my own thought. The funny thing is, for me having been in open relationships, I can remember back to when I was about twenty-one years old. I had a boyfriend, and he brought the idea of adding a third person, and I was so disgusted. I was so offended. I put him out my house. I threw his stuff out and everything. I was so offended because I really want family and monogamy. So it's amazing that I got to, I, 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 I was pushed. I don't say I was pushed. It's amazing that I transitioned from being so disgusted by it to actually doing it. But I think that goes back to me never thinking I was good enough. Me probably having low self-esteem. Um, and me thinking that you have to do what your partner wants you to do because it's considered compromise. So, yeah, I do want a monogamous, I do want a monogamous relationship. I don't know, what did Ali's Way say? Because I see Nikwell artist said exactly Ali's Way. Oh, oh God. I'm not, I see what Ali's Way said. I'm not going to, I'm not going to repeat it. Like I said, I'm not going to say anything badly about my exes anymore. Um, I'm not going to say anything badly. Chris Berry said, what's your type? Chris Berry, my type, the thing about it is as far as the looks, I don't really have a type. I like chocolate. I like light. I like caramel. I like white. I like Hispanic. I like it. I like people from Dubai. I like people from the Middle East. I like it all. So I don't really have a type. But I do like guys who are taller than me. That is like, you could, I, I, will, I will skip over a guy who is gorgeous and short and be with a guy who is not so gorgeous but taller than me. And that's with me being a bottom in a relationship or a top. Um, I like a guy that's taller than me. I like to feel like I'm going to be protected, my God. I like security and safety. But um, to go deeper in reference to what my type is, my type is a man that is strong and secure and content with themselves. And I guess, I guess now my type is evolving because 
I was always okay with getting a guy who in a sense, quote unquote, had less than me, but at least had the drive to work for more and to do better and to want more. But I realized that that ideology of being okay with somebody who is in a sense at the bottom and still trying to make their way to something, that was the 21 year old me. And I haven't dated since I was 21 um, or 22 when I met Corey. And so me being 33, I now realize that I have to evolve in what my standards are. And I think I'm, I think I'm so afraid because I hate people say someone's standards are too high, but are their standards too high? Or is it that your standards are too low, my God? So now my standard is I need a man to meet me where I am. You have, to, you have to be where I am or have something greater because I can no longer um, bring a man up to where I am. I can't. That was the 21-year-old me. And I think that has been the downfall in our relationships because I was always open-minded enough to know that I've been so blessed. Everyone is not going to be where I am. But I think that for me to have a successful relationship in the future, like a real relationship, oh, I'll date anybody, my God. But for me to have a successful one, it has to be a man who has his own thing going on and his own thing is solid. So where he is secure because everything that he has done, created, or the money he has made, he has made it because of his own, his, his self and not because he was attached to me. So yeah, my type has changed. Yummy Ben Fly, I guess that's how you say it. Says, Bishop, do not settle the next time. I will not settle. The thing about it is, I never thought I was settling. I thought that I was just doing the right thing. I thought that just because I have a lot does not mean that I should be focused on a partner to have that much. Because I feel like when you think about love and finding a great person, there may be a great person out there who does not have a whole lot. So I always was just open-minded about that. But now, I, 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 uh, you gotta, you gotta come where I am. You gotta meet me where I, meet me where I am. I've tried the other way. Now I gotta try something else. Christopher Ellis said, "Preach, Bishop." King Alchemist commented, saying, "I love babies, but when they reach the toddler stage, go to your mama." <laughs> I love babies so much. I don't care what age they are. I will do with it. I want children so badly. Speaking of Kate said, you just see the potential, the potential in people, but don't settle. Yes, yes, yes. Speaking of Kate, I do. I always hold fast to potential because I know that I'm not where I really want to be. So it's almost like if I'm not where I want to be, then how could I not embrace and be with someone who's not where they want to be um, as well? But I'm done with holding on to potential. Nope, no more. No more, my God. Uh, I see London McCray asked me to block Adrian Johnson. I don't see him as of, at the moment, but um, because you asked me to block the person, I will. So once I get to that person or see another comment, I will block that person. But you guys can also always click on somebody's comment and press the spam button, and hopefully that will help as well. Renata, be blessed, said, Hey, I love your transparency and your heart. Thank you for taking us along with your journey. Oh, that means so much to me, uh, Renata or Renata. I think it's Renata. That means so much to me for you saying that because... I previously said in a live that, you know, I was irresponsible for taking you guys on this journey. So I'm blessed to know that you are appreciative for coming with me on this journey. But I do still feel irresponsible, irresponsible because I feel like I exposed you guys, even though I'm not a bishop like because it's not a a Christian church, like an actual brick and mortar or ministry. I feel I feel like I was irresponsible because I I brought something to you guys. And, and, and expose you to something that I should not have. And so that's where I feel irresponsible at. I should have never exposed you to what you were exposed to on this channel. I just shouldn't have. Uchi Wally Wally said, good for you, Ty. Good for you. Thank you. King Alchemist said, I'm trying to be transparent without fear and insecurity. Yeah, that... 
that's kind of difficult because, up oh, super chat. <laughs> and it's from somebody whom I love. Ebony Cosby said, yes, check the fruit of who you are considering for a mate. Yes, my God. Yes, Ebony Cosby. Ebony, DM me. I thought you asked me, was it you, Ebony, or someone else? I feel like it was you. I feel like it was you, Ebony. You asked, could you interview a king with me? Um, please inbox me so that we can set that up. If it was you, I think it was you um, about interviewing a king. And I'm all, I'm all for it. I'm down for it. So let me know what your schedule is. Let me contact G Status ATL Hustle, the producer Ja, and see when he wants a king interview. And let's see if we can make that happen. Um, I would love for you to interview a king with me. Ah, you said it was you. Yes. Um, DM me your number, Ebony, and we can make that happen. Lakeisha Hayes said, Bishop, remember science, potential energy is energy in waiting. Kinetic, kinetic energy is energy in motion. Your next man needs to move like you. Thank you, Lakeisha. Come on. Lakeisha is definitely a leader in the church, my God, because I love me a good word. That was a word that will preach, Lakeisha. Thank you so much for that. I appreciate that a lot. Nene Brown said, take your time, honey. Don't rush into any, anything relationship. It's okay to be single for a while. Nene Brown, baby, we passed that point. I already addressed that. My family is not even okay with me being in a relationship at this point until at least next year. That's at least. So I will not be rushing into anything. I'm just on my chill, dating and having fun. A man can take me out on a date. We can flirt. We can go hang out. But I will not be announcing an official relationship Anytime soon, my God, if ever. But yeah, I'm just I'm just focused on me at the moment. But I, I will go on a date. I want I want to eat. I'm hungry, my God. Dion Banks said those things aren't annoying in my book. Maybe because I'm the same. I'm the same eyeing that respect. I'm not sure what you were referring to, Dion. But if you um, clarify it for me, I will uh, read your comment again. Allie's Way said, that is so true. Holding out for your partner to reach their potential will drag you down. I am in that situation. Allie's Way, I, I send it. Oh, my God. Church, all of the elders of this church, extend your hands, my God, and say a prayer for Allie's, Allie's Way. Because if you are in that situation, baby, I don't want to say break up with the person, but you have to be free from that. Because trying to uplift, encourage someone to make them secure enough. Because they they know they're not on your level as of yet it is so draining and it's 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 hard even if you love them it's hard my God Jennifer R oh my gosh Jennifer R is the person who told me my God to stop um st <laughs> stop making men kings my God and she said. I need to stop looking for it. She said, have you ever thought about the fact that you could be uh, dating and getting into a relationship with second sons? And what she said was, you keep trying to date a Prince Harry when you should be actually in a relationship with a Prince William who is next in line, my God, to be king. And the funny thing is, Jennifer, the amazing thing about your analogy with the second prince, I mean, the second son and Prince situation with Prince Harry and Prince William is the fact that I think that Prince Harry is gorgeous. I'm not that attracted to Prince William, my God. So there was even a deeper level of what you were saying because Prince Harry is the attractive one. Most people are going to run after Prince Harry, my God. But Prince Harry may not be the one for me because guess what? Prince Harry at this point will never be king because Prince William has already had children, my God, so he cannot be my king. Come on, Jennifer, that'll preach, my God. Jennifer R. said, Bishop, I just celebrated my 39th birthday and I have drowned myself in the prince repellent. You know what I'm saying? Yes, baby, yes. Happy belated birthday, Jennifer R. I love you. Thank you for your inspiration. Jennifer R. is definitely on the goon squad because she commented, no, she inboxed me and said, Bishop, I hope I'm not overstepping my bounds, my God. But are you getting back with your ex-husband? Because I see that all of the, the videos and pictures of the ex-first G are gone. 
But the stuff of Corey is still there. And I said, honey, no, hell no, my God. That is not what's going on. But I've already explained as to why stuff with Corey is still there, my God. I feel like there was a super chat that came through. So I want to locate the super chat because I have to honor super chats. Miss Godiva 6 said, I wish you continued blessings and success. I believe Miss Godiva 6 is the church member who I met in the Philadelphia airport. Love, much love to you so much. It was amazing meeting you. I always see your comments. I love you. I believe that's who she is. Kanithia Dempsey said, you can't apologize for finding love in each and everyone's life. There's a lesson to learn. 100% happiness for all future endeavors, including love. Thank you so much. You are 100% right. I definitely learned a lesson, my God. And had it not been for these past eight months, I would not be where I am in this particular moment. And I am so happy. I'm so content. I have so much peace. And I'm so excited uh, about the direction that my life is about to go in. I'm so excited. Seti, Seti, Jackman said, Bishop, you're one church member from Barbados. Hope you see this. Seti Jackson, I love you. Yes, I see your comment. Thank you so much for love from Barbados. All righty. I'm trying to get, see, I'm trying to get to these comments because you guys are commenting to each other. And so I want to read comments that are actually meant for me to read. Queen Chelsea, do you have an opinion? Queen Chelsea commented saying, Ty, do you have an opinion on Nikki and Cardi drama? Queen Chelsea, honey, I've been trying to get so I've been trying to focus on me, my God. I'm, I don't really know what's going on between Nikki and Cardi. I will say that I'm disappointed in Nikki because I've seen some stuff. And I feel like, you know, Nikki already did her thing, so she should be able to let someone else come up and do their thing. But I also don't want to speak out of turn. Because I don't know all the information. I don't know what Cardi did. I don't know what Nikki did. But I wish that Nikki would have been more mature in the situation. And the funny thing is, I will say that as immature as people thought that Little Kim was acting, it's funny to see Nicki Minaj acting as immature as Little Kim was. So I think it's a cycle going on here. But again, to all of the, the Barb's and Kim Barb's, I love you. I'm not talking negatively about your queen. I don't know all the facts. So I'm just speaking on what... The pieces that I know. My God. Scorpion King 89 said, Bishop, you should travel to major cities and do meet and greets with your fans. I would pay to meet Bishop and take pics. Okay, Scorpion 89, I am not that grand. So if I were to be able to do a meet and greet, um, I wouldn't charge nothing at all. But what I would probably do is find out how, if it's like a restaurant or an event space, how you guys could buy tickets to at least pay for the space. But I would never, ever charge anyone to meet me or to give a hug or for an autograph. But I did say before that the meet and greet thing was not my thing. So um, I don't know. I guess because you guys keep asking, I may consider it. But when the original meet and greets happened, that was not, it was not because of me. It was because of the other person wanting to have those. I don't feel like I'm big enough. And granted, she says, yes, my brand is big enough for meeting and greets. But... Little old me is not anything of a meet and greet. Like I said before, if you see me in the airport, if you see me on the street, give me a hug. I will gladly show you love. I will. I don't even think my autograph is worth anything, but I'll autograph something. I'll. I'll do whatever. Like my heart is for people. So, um, yeah. But I guess at some point I will have to do meet and greets because people keep asking, and I do want to honor what the church desires and needs from me. Especially if you're going to call me your bishop. So I know you probably do want to meet me. Um, so I will consider it. What I will probably do is connect with Shanice, my sister. You guys love her. See what she can do with me so that we can maybe do some meet and greets. But I won't do it. No meet and greet is not going to happen until next year. Nothing this year. Because the, I feel like our church needs to grow more for me to do a meet and greet. But I will consider it next year. Jordy J said meet and greet LA and Vegas. Uh, it's cute because I'm going to be in LA this week. So if you guys see me out, please give me a hug. Please, let's take a picture, let's Snapchat, let's let's do Instagram, let's do Facebook, let's do Twitter. If you see me out in LA this week, please show me love and let's take some photos. Maria, is it Maria or Maria? I feel like I wanted to be Maria, but it could be Maria. Boyce said, afternoon, Uncle Ty. 
Love and blessing from Barbados. Oh, I love you too. I'm so glad that we have an international ministry, my God. So love to Barbados. Love, Anika said, super off topic, but I passed through South Jersey this weekend on my way to Philly and passed your salon. I was like, oh, hey, Ty. <laughs> yes, the salon is still there. The closing date is August 31st, so we have two more weeks. Unfortunately, I will not be there this week, but Shanice will be there this week, but I will be back in New Jersey for the last week in closing, and I have a surprise for you guys. Um, I, well, I'm going to tell you. The surprise is I'm trying to vlog the closing, so I've been trying to get like some of the clients to, do, to, to jump in the vlog. I've also been vlogging when like people come up and pick furniture that they wanted from me or purchase from me. Um, so that's what I'm doing right now. So I will I will try to have a vlog of the closing if I feel like it looks interesting when I put it all together. Patricia Shakur said, Shanice is everything. Yes, God. I love her so much. Shanice is now uh, like in charge of my dating life. Any man that wants a chance with the bishop, you have to go through Shanice. DM her. Contact her. Whenever I get into my next committed relationship or official relationship, Shanice will have to approve you. If she has to. If she does not, if she does not approve of you, or if you don't like Shanice, we can't be together, my God. Quiet Storm 06 said, Ty, will you be in Atlanta Labor Day weekend? Quiet Storm, yes, I will be back home. I won't get back home until September 1st because the salon closes on August. 31st. So my flight will probably come in on September 1st in the evening and I will be in Atlanta Sunday, Monday and all of that. So I will be I will be in Atlanta. Just K, just TK said Ty, I'm waiting on your response. Just TK, I don't know what response you're waiting on. Um, please use super chat if you can. If you, if you have a dollar or two dollars, please use super chat so that I can see. It's not about needing the money, but you can't hold me accountable for not seeing comments when there are 336 people watching this live right now and comments are coming through. So I don't want to neglect you, but if I didn't see it, um, please use super chat. That's what it's there for to help me be able to zero in on comments and not ignore anybody or not skip over anyone. So you comment again saying, Justy K said. Love the way you support the community, brand, shows, and YouTube with your reviews and highlights. Also waiting for Milan True Corday's, uh, I guess their interviews. Um, Milan Jada's interview will be uploaded this weekend. Uh, like I said, it's supposed to, I'm supposed to do it on Sundays. I may do it on Friday or Saturday because I love it so much. Um, and it's like, a, it's, like a, it's like a milestone for me. It's like a, it, it made me so happy to be able to achieve that goal of remembering that I can do things myself and alone. And Just TK also asked, any new projects to look forward to from you out in Atlanta? I don't have any new projects as of yet. I have some fun things going on. I, I'm filming with some fun people doing some fun things. So I do have new content for you guys from YouTube. But nothing going on in Atlanta as of yet. I'm just trying to continue to see if I want to be here for good. Um, embrace why the universe brought me here. Uh, so that's where I am with Atlanta. But if any new projects arise, I will definitely keep you guys informed because I know that you guys are always rooting and praying for my success. So... I think I'm going to end my live soon. So if you guys have any important questions, please ask me. I'm going to end this live in five minutes. I'm in Atlanta and it says it's 325. So I'm going to end this live at 330. Exactly, my God. One, one swarthy princess that I love your mukbang vid. We want more. Yes. I'm going to do more. I want to do a mukbang with Gardini. I'm going to do another one with Shanice. Um, so there will be a lot more mukbang videos. I definitely want to do those. We have so much fun. You guys love them. So we will do those again, as well as some games. We'll do some games with some different um, some different cast members from the, the web series of reality shows from YouTube. 
Queen Chelsea said, will you be re reviewing Little Women Atlanta? Queen Chelsea, I wanted to so badly, but I think the season started already and I'm, I'm behind. So if I'm too far behind, no. If it's only one episode, I will watch it and review it because I do love that show. And that show I can review and not really feel like I'm so uh, pressured with having to hit every bullet point. So if I want to check and see if Little Women Atlanta uh, has been on for a while now or if it just started. Let me know if it just started or not. Let me know how many episodes they uh, released so far for this new season. Kanethia Dempsey said, I thought I blocked at Arlene Johnson. Can't see the comments anymore. Uh, I already uh, blocked the person, Kanethia, so that person can no longer comment. I think that's what you guys were asking me to block that person I did. Vanessa Martinez said, I'm glad you're doing okay. Yes, I'm doing great, Vanessa. Thank you so much. Nikwa Artist said, yes, Gardini, yes. Gardini is my boo. Um, I was actually at Gardini's house on Sunday night watching the BMAs with him. So we had so much fun. He had a little um, intimate uh, BMA party uh, at his house. So I was there with Gardini hanging out and just getting used to doing things in Atlanta with my friends in Atlanta. Just TK, Just TK asked an important question. He or she said, will this be the new time live Wednesday's times frame versus 12 noon? Actually, Just TK, I'm going to have to keep the time frame pretty broad, like anywhere from 12 to maybe 3, because uh, sometimes I have appointments at the dermatologist at 12, or for example, I may be going out of town or flying back in town. So I'm always going to do a live on Wednesday. I'm never going to let you guys down. It may not be at 12. It may not be at 1. Yeah, I may forget. It may be at nighttime on Wednesday. But I'm going to always come on live and talk to my church and see what you guys are feeling, what you guys are thinking, see what you guys are going through, um, hear your successes and share them so that we can commune together, my God. Because I know you guys would love for us to have this live interaction. F. Vincent Singletary commented saying, Hi, Bishop. I know you'll do well for the ending of your relationship and pray that all things work out in Atlanta with the new salon. Um, well, the new salon in Atlanta was going to be, um, it wasn't going to be like a, a big salon. I was going to look into, in my neighborhood, there's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful place where it's called, it's called a salon loft. And um, I was going to consider getting one of those. And so that's how I was going to do it in Atlanta. I wasn't going to do a big salon with a whole bunch of staff. Just something just for me. So I may still do it if I end up staying here. But I don't want to start and then and then, and then end up leaving in March. But I thank you for the love and, and encouragement and support uh, about the Atlanta salon. Uh, Indigo TV said, I am in Atlanta. So I want to hang out or something. Indigo TV, DM me. Let me know what's going on. It may be possible. The only Tashi here said, have you considered an interior design business? I have not. Um, people continuously ask me about that. So I, I feel like interior design, you have to go to school for that. I don't feel like going back to school, my God. So I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure. I do love interior design. I still am going to give you guys a home tour. Because I love where I live. It looks beautiful. I'm doing some, I'm still doing some finishing touches. So even if I decide to um, finish out my lease and leave in, in March when my lease ends, I'm going to still do the home tour. I think I can do the home tour for you guys probably by Thanksgiving, maybe. I think that's enough time for me not to have like feel pressured to getting everything right. Uh, so yeah, probably by the, November. Yeah. November, I'll try to get the home tour done for you guys. Because you guys have been asking for a home tour since my apartment with my ex-husband in New Jersey. And I, I, I'm i so sorry that I couldn't bring you the home tour. I was about to do it before all hell broke loose. But um, I, it was so sad I couldn't show you because my apartment in New Jersey looks so amazing when I was actually done with it. But it is what it is. You guys have seen some photos from some stuff. So I hope that helps you out. But I definitely will bring you guys the... Uh, uh, the home tour for where I live now in Atlanta. 
Jam Jamaican Black Scorpion says, sorry, I got to go. Have a wonderful evening. I'll see you again. Yes, Jamaican Black Scorpion, you're always here. You're always a part of the church. You always comment. Go on, girl. Do your thing. Oh, Tanisha Johnson said, Little Woman Atlanta season is not on yet. Are you sure? Is it? If it's not on yet, my God, I'm so happy. I really want to do it. If Little Woman has not started, the Atlanta season has not begun yet, I'm going to do it. I'm doing that, my God. Yes, I will do it. So yes to that. I'm going to check the listings and see when it airs. If you can comment on this video, let me know when it airs. I'm going to do Little Woman Atlanta. Um, and I'm going to close out this live with this super chat comment since we're going to end. And Jay Wow commented and also donated $4.99 saying before this live ends, can SLL, the church members, say amen for the bishop? Oh, can all... Before this, before this live ends, can all of the church members say amen and a prayer for the bishop? Oh, Jay, wow, that is so sweet. I appreciate you. I appreciate you for one, using Super Chat to make sure that you got what you wanted to say s spoken loud and clear so everyone can recognize it. But that was so, oh, that was so sweet. I appreciate you, Jay, wow, so much. I appreciate you. That was so sweet. That is the best way to close this live. And I thank my church members for following suit, my God. When I tell you I love you guys so much, I thank God for placing you in my lives, even if it's you being in my lives on YouTube and on social media. Thank you so much. I love you guys. Bye, guys. I will see you next Wednesday live. I may go live in, in LA. I'm not sure. But Thank you so much, guys. Thank you for the prayers and the praying hands and the love and the amens. Bye, guys. I love you so much.